Hey guys, my name is Aaron and thank you for joining me today at the French River Homestead. I'm so excited you could be here today. I've got a really fun project. We're going to start our kitchen cabinets. Uh, it's something that we've been waiting to do for a long time. Um, just to kind of make our house seem a little bit more finished and give us some needed storage. So I'm happy you could be here to join me today. Let's get started. So I'm just getting started drilling the pocket holes on the plywood that's going to become the carcass. Off camera I pre-cut all these pieces to size. The base of the of the carcass is 68 inches by 23 and a quarter. The two sides are 33 and 3 quarters by 23 and a quarter and the two interior partition pieces are 33 by 23 and a quarter. So the 23 and a quarter is because we're going to have a 3 quarter inch face that goes on the front of the carcass bringing our overall depth to 24 inches. We didn't want to go too much deeper than that just because we have a small space to put it in. So I don't typically use pocket holes very much, but for building carcasses and cabinets, they work really, really well. It goes fairly quick. I think I had this whole carcass put together in about an hour, and that includes the cutting. So I saved you a little bit of that because it's just ripping plywood. So just drilling these and then I'll get, uh, get to putting them together. So now I'm starting to attach the, the pocket screws on the end of the sides here to attach the pieces together to frame up the carcass. Uh, the pocket holes work pretty well. Uh, I don't have the dedicated Craig clamps to do a 90 degree um, angle, but um, just holding it in place usually works pretty well. A good amount of pressure is required just to make sure that the, the two pieces don't slide or move around. So just to keep everything flush and true. I'm not worried about things being square or plumb at this point, just because it'll, it'll work itself out as I add more pieces to it. Um, just making sure that I get these corners uh, flush. That's really my primary concern at this point. So the side pieces are on the outside, of the, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, the side pieces are on the outside of the base and that's just to cover up the end grain of that uh, piece of plywood. So here doing the partition walls, same thing. These ones are visible on the inside, but that'll be covered up by sliding drawers, so I'm not too concerned about it. So I sped it up here, we're just doing the same thing, attaching all these partition pieces. I made a mark. Our sink is 32 inches wide, so that's the center piece where the, uh, the, the, the doors are going to be to access the plumbing for the sink. So. I wanted to make sure that I left those two partition pieces wide enough that I could get easy access for the sink. Um, so then I'm just ripping a bunch of stretchers. These, since we're not doing a top or a back on the carcass, these are going to be to add structural rigidity and lateral strength to the whole carcass. So the dimensions on these, for the left um, cavity, it is 16 and a quarter inches by, I think they're roughly three inches. The width doesn't really matter, it's just um, the length is, is determined by the overall size of the, of the cavity. So then the middle one is 32 inches and the one on the right is 18 and a quarter inches. So you can see I took my time just measuring, going through, trimming a little bit here and there, uh, trying to get the perfect fit for all, all of these. There are four for each cavity two in the back and two on the top. And you'll see that once we start putting it together here. Same thing, I'm gonna drill out pocket holes in all of these stretchers and then screw them into place.
So now we're just placing the stretchers into place. I've already got most of them done, but I just wanted to show you this last one so you can see kind of how they go in. I've got two in the back on the top and bottom and two on the top um, just to support the countertop front and back on the top. So the crag holes are all going to be hidden either to the back or to the top. Um, so I'm just adhering these with two pocket screws on either side. And I think this is the last one, so that about wraps up the carcass. Using the pocket holes goes really quick. So in an effort to keep this video short, I've decided to split the cabinet build up into a couple of separate videos um, just to keep it from being too long. But I'm going to wrap it up here at this one. We've got the carcass built. You can see it's all put together. This is, uh, I think it's 69 and a half inches long by 23 and a quarter inches wide. So it's going to be a three quarter inch face on here. So it'll bring the overall depth to 24 inches. Um, we did this at 34 and a half inches high. We're going to have a two inch countertop. So it'll be 36 and a half overall. Um, Everything is put together with pocket screws and po pocket holes and pocket screws. Obviously the two go together. Um, but then in order to keep the overall weight of the carcass down, instead of doing a full back and a full top, I just did these stretchers to add rigidity and lateral strength. So that's it for this video. Um, coming up next, we're going to talk about and start putting together the face and hopefully some of the drawers. If you have any questions about this video or anything on our homestead in general, please let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd encourage you to do so. We have some great projects coming up. Otherwise, thanks for watching.